internet, so it's been requested that I show you my TBR pile, which has been increasingly huge. And so today, what I'm going to do is just kind of show you around my TBR shelves, which are not in my room. So let me just give you a quick little tour. So this is the bookshelf that I film in front of. This is my bookshelf in my room. It's my bed and, yeah, mini room tour, yay. Anyway. So, yeah, it's pretty messy in here currently, but this is where all the books I've read are, other than these ones down here. These are um, my immediate TBR. Those are the ones that are in my TBR jar, which is located right here. So, um, to get to my other shelves, we kind of have to go on a little journey, so let's take that journey. So, this is the door to my room that you may or may not see, and... We go outside, there's my sister's room, and here's the bookshelf that I always talk about in some of my videos that has random books, like for instance up here it's my parents' things, and just some random like American Girl doll books, and you can have a mini tour yourself. See like there's some Harry Potter books because they don't fit on the shelf I'm about to show you. So generally just stuff that I have nowhere else to put or my family has nowhere else to put then we continue over here and this is our we call it the playroom because when I was little this used to be where all my toys were but now it's just kind of like my pianos in here extra furniture and then on this wall my books some pictures a tv some rock band stuff and my books so this is an overview of all of my tbr things um, they are organized, they don't look like it, but we'll get into that in a second. Let's start with these ones over here. I'm going to go through every single one of these. So, these are all of my hardback books. I don't have nearly as many as I do paperbacks. And I have Aragon by Christopher Paulini. Invisibility by Andrea Kramer and David Levithan. Tiger's Curse by Colleen Houck. Hoop. Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. Defiance by C.J. Redwine. Black City by Elizabeth Richards. Beautiful Creatures by Kimi Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Rot and Ruin by Jonathan Mayberry. Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. I don't know why I haven't taken the sticker off yet. Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles. Crescendo by What's Her Face? Becca Fitzpatrick. It's right there. I don't know why I didn't read that. My Life in Black and White by Natasha Friend. Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. For One More Day by Mitch Album. And Grayson by Lynn Cox. So these are all just my hardback stuff. And then back there, here's like some random guitar book that I don't... I'm not even sure why it's back there, but... Yeah, just another overview. Then we travel over here, and here's a couple more hardbacks, but mostly some paperback. And the basic layout of these is that here are classics, childhood books, things that I may or may not end up reading, books to read in the future, which is all this, um, stuff that I can't get through to save my life, and then just the rest of my paperback that I need to read. For classics, we have Little Women by Louise, Louisa May Alcott. Could be pronouncing that wrong. This is a book that my family has had forever. I'm pretty sure this is my mom's copy of this book. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Hardback edition. Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I tried to read this and I only got like halfway through it, so it wasn't that bad. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley.
Then there's Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. And then, um, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, which is one of my friend's favorite books, and he says I need to read it really soon, so that might be moved to my immediate TBR pile once I finish that up. Then for my childhood favorite books that I need to reread eventually, these are going to go on my shelf in my room whenever I get a bigger one, but as you could tell, I have no room for it currently. There's A, Cro uh, a Corner of the Universe by Anne and Martin. A Dog's Life by Anna Martin, um, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. This is my mom's copy of the book. Let me see if I can get this out with one hand. Yeah, this is what my mom had when she was little, which is why it's really torn up and crinkled. But yeah, I found that on the bookshelf outside my room that you saw earlier, and I really want to reread it. And then Double Identity by Margaret something Haddix, Margaret Peterson Haddix. That was my absolutely favorite book in fourth grade, so I'm excited to reread this. Waiting for Normal by... I'm not sure. And then A Friendle by another person who I'm not sure who the author is. So then these are just a couple of books that I bought or that I found in my bookshelf that I'm not sure if I want to read them or not, but I'm going to keep them anyway because I might get around to them eventually. Maybe you can tell me if they were good. So... First book is My Side of the Mountain by Jean Craighead George. Craighead? I, okay. I don't know. Um, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry by Mildred D. Taylor. Impossible by Nancy Worland. You just saw this in my most recent haul. I thought that I had already read this, but I was thinking of a different book. But it was only $2 when I bought it, so I'm not too upset about getting it. I might reread it. Then L.A. Candy by Lauren Conrad. I got this for Bargain on Bargain for $4 on Amazon, and now I'm not sure if I even want to read it because I bought it on Impulse, and I really don't know why anymore. Once by Cameron Doki. Is this the one? Yeah, this is just the bind-up of, like, three different spin-offs on, like, fairy tales. You can pause and read this if you want, but this is my sister's, and I found it. Then we have... Lone Wolf by Jodi Picoult. And My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. Sorry, this is like really zoomed in. Whew. All right. And then now we get down to the stuff I haven't finished. And then series slash things that I need to read later on. Like these are, I want to read them, but not immediately. So these are my like really far into the future TBR things. Oh. Had a breath. So, we have over here, Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. I've gotten about halfway through this and got bored. The trend here is that I've read about half of all of these and have not been able to read them. So there's this one, and then Blood Red Road by Moray Young. The writing style just kills me on this one. The Book Thief by Marcus Susak. I know, I need to read it especially before the movie, and then Gone by Michael Grant. It has a crease in it now, because I threw it at the wall. How fun. And then Surviving Antarctica by Andrea White. We were going to read this for book club, but I didn't get very far, and it doesn't really interest me outside of book club. And then over here is just, again, series and stuff. I got the... Here's the first book down here to the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. And then I have the second and third one. Second and third. And then we have Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. I bought this because it was a dollar in perfect condition, but I actually haven't read Vampire Academy yet. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to wait and read it later on in like a year or two, or if I'm going to just give it away or something. I don't know yet. Then I have the third, fourth, and fifth book in the Vampire Academy series. So there's Shadow Kiss. Um, I got all of these for like, these two were $4.50 each, and then this one was $2, so I got them bargain. Um, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, and Spirit Bound. Here I have the full, the Hobbit, or not the Hobbit, the 
The Hobbit and then the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So I really want to read these eventually, but I'm not sure if I'll enjoy them, which is why they're on this shelf, because I just don't know if it's something I would take a particular interest in. But it's something that I think I want to try one day, so that's why it's here. Then I have just the last two books in the Percy Jackson series. I'm on the third one right now, so once I finish that, these will go in my room to be completed. Because whenever I read the third one, I just want to finish the series really fast. This should probably be a one up a shelf, but this is a book that was my sister's. It's The Season by Sarah McLean. I'm not sure what this is about. I'm actually going to put that up there now, because I don't know when I'm going to read that. And then Elixir by Hilary Duff. This could probably go on this shelf there. Doing some reorganization while we're here. So those are all my series that I need to finish. And yeah. Now kneeling down again. Here's my paperback shelf. I just had to recently double stack these. So that's why we've got some... <sighs> double bus going on. I don't know what that meant, but I just showed a ton of these in recent hauls, so you may recognize a ton of them, but I'll go through them anyway once more. We have The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Teen Angst. Nah. That Summer by Sarah Dessen. Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List. I'm gonna fall into it. Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. Flipped by Wendelin Van Drainen. Wow, I don't know. I've never said that name out loud before. Take Me There by Suzanne Colasanti. Marley and Me by Josh Grogan. And The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. So those were in my most recent haul, so you probably recognize them. But now for the more older paperbacks I have, we have Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour, The Iron King by Julia Kagawa, Unwind by Neil Schusterman, Imaginary Girls by Nova Rensuma, which I saw her in July, but I don't have this signed, so it's kind of sad face. The Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy, which I'm going to save this for summer. I'm going to marathon it then. 20 Boy Summer by, what's your face? Sarah Ockler. The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Scooting over. Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zeven. The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. Again, I met her also, but this isn't signed. Sad face. I Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You by Allie Carter. Prom by Lori House Anderson. Saving June by Hannah Harrington. Bruiser by Neil Schusterman. The Ten Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have by Sarah... Mm, yeah, you can pronounce that however you want. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by David Levithan and Rachel Cohn. Fever 1793 by Laurie Hall Sanderson. This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. Nightshade by Andrea Kramer, which I recently just found in the prettier cover. So I'm kind of upset that I have it in the old one. New one? Is that the new one? I'm not sure. 13 Blue Little Envelopes by Maureen Johnson. Stolen by Lucy Christopher. 20% battery dismissed. Scott Westerfeld's The Pretties. Or not The Pretties, just Pretties. <laughs> Marked by C PC Cast. I knew there was a C somewhere in there. The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Before I Die by Jenny Downham. Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. 
and Angus Thongs in full frontal snogging by Louise Renanson. There's a good chance that I might not get to these for a couple of months, if not like a year. So if you're expecting that I get done with these pretty soon, that's probably not going to happen. But if you see some books or you saw some that you liked and you want to recommend them, definitely let me know in a comment. And I will possibly maybe move it up on my TBR list to go in my room once I have more space. So thank you for watching. That's all the books I have to read. There are a lot of them. I'm very tired now because I just spoke so many book names. Exhaustion. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.